All right, this is Miss Kerr back at you with um, the 8.8 .8 eras of geologic time notes. So we're on page 11 of the note page, and here are just some uh, vocabulary words that are going to be mentioned today that you just need to take note of, make sure you understand. So right here, number two, mass extinction. We're going to talk about several mass extinctions throughout um, geologic time. And when I mention those, you just want to think about um, a large number of species dying all at once. All right, and then reptiles. Um, you know, some people have different ideas of what reptiles are, but when we talk about them in these notes, we're talking about cold-blooded vertebrates. So from our vocabulary, vertebrates have a backbone, and they usually have an outer covering of thick skin. Um, or scales and they reproduce by leaving eggs, laying eggs. All right, we're going to get into our um, eras of Earth's history. Your previous notes, 8.7, um, talked about Precambrian time and remember during that time oceans formed and covered Earth. So as we start the Paleozoic era today, we're thinking, okay, oceans are covering the Earth and the first period is the Cambrian period, and we have what's called the Cambrian explosion happening where a large number of organisms are appearing. And those are mostly um, aquatic um, animals, so aquatic habitat, and you can kind of see it in the background here. All right, and... Um, Scientists have determined these eras and periods, remember, again, because of the, G the uh, fossil record, and um, they have found fossils and have um, either um, absolute dated or relative dated the rocks that those um, th they have found. So that's how we have come up with these different time periods. All right, so some big events. Obviously, first, the Cambrian explosion. During this era, most of the animals are invertebrates. So again, using your vocabulary, those um, organisms did not have backbones. Um, starting in the Ordovician period, we have uh, jawless fishes appearing. And here's a picture of those, just kind of what it sounds like. But they did have a backbone, so they were the first vertebrates. The next uh, period, we see plants uh, becoming abundant, and we have the first insects. So these are just kind of the main um, events happening in the era and then the different periods. All right, moving on to the Devonian period, we're still in the Paleozoic era. Um, this is termed the Age of Fishes. Um, and animals start to move on land. Um, we can see these uh, large insects. Okay, Carboniferous period, huge insects um, on land. Reptiles are appearing as well. And then we note a mass extinction um, after the Carboniferous period where many plants and animals um, die out. All right, moving on to the per Permian period, we're still in the Paleozoic era, and we have the continents coming together to form Pangaea, which is a supercontinent. So up in this left-hand corner, you see um, Pangaea is forming. And then later on in history, we'll talk about this um, during the Mesozoic era, the uh, continents start to slowly move apart. Um, you have a vocabulary word called um, continental drift. And so the continental drift starts happening um, in the Triassic period of the Mesozoic era. And we see during the Jurassic and the Cretaceous that slow movement. And we're talking millions of years, right? So this slow movement is over lots of years. At the end of this era, we have a mass extinction due to a climate change um, from continental drift, um, specifically um, marine invertebrates and trilobites are going to become extinct. So you've heard the word trilobites in the fossil 
notes and um, in other places throughout this unit. All right, moving on to the Mesozoic era, and a lot of you uh, know this one because we have um, the movie Jurassic Park is uh, lightly based on this era, um, but is a fictional video, video, fictional movie. All right, this is termed the Age of Reptiles. So the entire era, if they asked you, you know, what is the name of it, Age of Reptiles. Um, during the Triassic period, we have dinosaurs and mammals appearing, um, and we have conifers appearing as well. So those are your uh, cone-bearing plants. Um, so things like pine trees, spruce, that kind of thing. All right, um, during the Jurassic period, the dinosaurs were dominant and thus the movie Jurassic Park. The Cretaceous period comes next and we have flowering plants appearing. Dinosaurs are still dominant. All right, at the end of the Cretaceous period, we have a mass extinction probably about 65 million years ago. And it is... Um, Estimated that it's probably because an asteroid hit Earth, and we have dinosaurs going extinct at this point. So in the Mesozoic era, you have dinosaurs appearing and going extinct all in the same era. You Just another note, um, you also have the first birds appearing in the Mesozoic era. All right, moving on to the Cenozoic era, which is the most recent and um, using your stems from you know your previous notes, Cenozoic is going to mean recent life. Um, so this is your most recent era. All right, it is termed Age of Mammals, and you can see in the background here we've got um, some mammals, right? And those mammals include humans. Um, but that would also include primates. Primates are, um, you know, think of the monkey family. <laughs> so you've got chimpanzees, gorillas. Um, that would also include things like lemurs. So um, if you've ever been to the zoo and you go into the primate building, um, we're including those um, in the age of mammals, right? All right, tertiary period. Um, so climates become more warm and mild and we have uh, ocean mammals evolving. And then in the quaternary period, this is the most recent period. This is, um, you know, present time. And at the beginning of this period, we have a series of ice ages and uh, humans appear. And we have, you know, the scientific name for humans is Homo sapiens. So Homo sapiens evolved about 100,000 years ago, which is relatively recent when we're talking about billions of years of Earth's history. All right, to finish up, uh, we've got this graph for you on the screen. And just to point out, all right, so you've got, um, and the word here is behind my webcam, but you've got millions of years before the present on the x-axis, your independent variable. And you've got families of ocean animals on the y-axis, and that's your dependent variable. So you can see the mass extinctions are kind of highlighted in this peach color. And you also see our line graph take a huge dip um, at these mass extinctions. So if we kind of follow it around, we've got a huge dip. So scientists have figured out that there were these mass extinctions because they see a huge uh, gap in the fossil record when looking at these time periods. So that should finish up. Um, you, this note page, you do need to know the major happenings in each of these uh, eras, these time periods.